Hey guys, your friendly neighborhood brony metalhead back at it again with another installment of My Little Bootlegs. As you can see, I'm behind the wheel of my truck right now on the way to the store to pick up some more bootleg badness and see what we can review. Avida Zen! So when picking my store for this episode, I had one thought in mind. What store, like what big box store, more than any, is known as a mecca for all sorts of cheap ass shit? And for that, only one store came to mind. Motherfucking Walmart. So here we are at our locale of choice, Walmart, in search of whatever aisle they would likely be keeping the stuff down. Okay, that looks like it's all games and stuff. That's a real section. My best guess is that they would be somewhere along this wall here, if at all possible. Well, I found my targets quicker than expected, but this, this just needed to be showcased real quick. Since when does a toy review channel on YouTube get its own toy line? I'm confused. But I can already see our target for the day, so let's get this sucker and get the hell out of here. As you can see, we've selected our victim for this video here. This is the Pony Hair Salon set by Kid Connection. It's a knockoff brand that I found at Walmart. Let's uh, try and get a good look at the box art here. It's pretty fucking bland. Kid Connection toys are kid approved and built for fun. Easy to understand with no complicated instructions. These durable toys keep you and your children happy day after day, smile after smile. We'll see about that durability thing later on. Just You just trust me on that one. So if we look at the bottom here, we can find the distributor, some miscellaneous information. I'm not finding anything about a particular manufacturer on this box. So it's unknown exactly what sweatshop this came out of. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this sucker and I'll see you after the jump cut. I gotta say, if this isn't the biggest bootleg pony in the world, I don't know what is. Uh, alright every pony, so here is our pony, freshly liberated from the packaging, and I can already tell that this is of a lower quality than the last one I reviewed, because look at that neck joint there. I'm seeing some major splittage going on right there. It does have a point of articulation at the neck. And if I squeeze the head real tight, that sucker looks like it could just pop right off. And once again, the body's made out of this like really soft plastic again. Which is to be expected of these. I'm not sure what mold this is, but clearly, look at my hand. And I have, like, pretty medium-sized hands, but this thing is freaking huge. But yeah, it also came with a metric shit ton of accessories. We got a uh, hair dryer, a fake curling iron that doesn't even have any, like, spikes or anything. Get that fucking shit out of here. A pretty generic comb that feels... No, sorry, brush. I'm a retard. Sorry. But this brush feels... Pretty durable, it doesn't look like it wants to snap in my hand. Uh, the bristles are moderately soft, as you'd expect from a brush. Might actually use this on myself, I don't know. But it came with two uh, hair clips. Now these, on the other hand, actually do feel nicer. Uh, spoke too soon. That one's already broken. Wow. But yeah, it. Like, these are just the jankiest, these are incredibly janky. It feels like trash, honestly. 
Like, th these just, these just feel horrible. Get that out of here. We also got some beads and hair scrunchies as we had in the last one. I'm, I'm not even gonna bother with those. Those are just beads. Who cares? Now we turn our attention to the star of the show, the pony itself. Mane feels kind of silky soft. And once again, Nightmare Algon! Let that shit haunt your nightmares tonight, guys. That is horrifying. And on this one, the cutie mark is on only one side. Fucking lazy. Then again, Hasbro does the same thing, so I don't care. It actually has, like, horseshoes on its hooves here. Can't say I've seen that before. That's interesting. But yeah, the hair dryer actually works in a way. You hear that? Yeah, there's actually a little fan or something turning around in there. I think, I can't tell if this, it doesn't blow much air, but that is actually kind of nifty. I kind I can dig that actually. So that gets spared from destruction, which is more than I can say for you, you little shit. Let's move on to the durability tests. All right. So first, I'm going to see how durable these accessories are. We've already proved these clips are janky as crap, because this one already broke, as you can see. And it doesn't take a lot of effort to repeat what has been done to that one. This, the, These clips are just crap. Pure, total, utter crap. The brush, like I said, is okay. It's like a normal hairbrush that I would use, you know, just to fix my hair some days. Yeah, that's, I might keep this one for myself, but I digress. The fake fucking curling iron does not take a lot of effort to finagle that completely apart. This, my God, this is ratty. Ugh. God, I, I can't even get it back up, oh, never. Look at that, it, the plastic inside of there snapped. These are, these are trash. Like, I've, I've seen low quality shit reviewed before, but this takes the taco. Now for the pony itself. Now the first thing I wanna do with this is see how secure the mane and tail are. So I do some pulling. And, wow, it actually looks like the mane wants to stay in. I gotta give it credit there, because at least this bootleg has its mane so tight I can't even rip it out if I try. That is impressive. That is very impressive. But my big worry with this one was, as I stated, that neck joint. I can just squeeze the body and look at that, it just popped right off with like no effort whatsoever. This thing is trash! Like, I've seen low quality stuff, but this is just, oh my god, I, I, I don't even have the words. <laughs> if you remember, the box said Durable? My ass! Even though we've only done two episodes of this series, I can already tell this is the worst freaking bootleg I've reviewed so far. It took no effort to pop that neck joint. The accessories, with the exception of that brush, were complete trash. And it, it just... I gotta admit, the main did okay, but the rest of this ensemble is just the worst put together thing that I've seen so far in this series, and we're only two episodes in, so I guess that's not saying a lot, but this is just horrid. I, like, I, I, uh, this is just the worst thing I've ever seen in this fucking, I, 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 I'm speechless. This is trash. Not to mention that false advertising on the box that said quality and shit. Durable? Give me a fucking break. I've had freaking 
God, this is just the worst I've seen. But, you know, maybe they don't mean durable as in joint kind of durable. What do you th guys, I'm starting a new tradition with this series. What do you think will win? This shitty bootleg My Little Pony toy or this Ford Expedition? Let's find out. All right, Big Mac. Let's do our thing. Well, that went a little better than I expected. Maybe that's why, maybe that's why they said it was durable. This thing survived mostly unscathed. The ass is caved in, but all in all, this actually survived getting run over by Big Mac. Wow, I did not see that coming, but, huh. Yeah, the plastic's indestructible, but shit holding it together, I can't really say the same thing for. So, Walmart, you can take this and shove it! Remember, if you want to see me review more bootleg badness, don't forget to leave a like and comment on this video. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any more episodes. I'm probably going to have a third one out in the next few weeks. But until then, I'm the friendly neighborhood Brony Metalhead. Prost und auf Wiedersehen.